Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. Uh, Art and I are pleased to join with you again for our Founders blog, where we... What do we do, Art? We, uh, we, we solve all the problems of the universe. We speak. <laughs> we speak. And we speak. We do something. Art... I was looking at your beard, and I was noticing how different your beard is from mine. Now, I once had a full beard like you do, mm -hmm. but um, I don't know how many, 10 years ago or so, it changed to this, to the did, did classic door did, knocker. Did it happen all by itself? Did it no, just, actually, did it just change? It, here's what happened is I had a beard for 24 years. I grew it on my daughter's, my youngest daughter's birthday. I was taking care of the twins, and I let my beard go. Uh, didn't shave for two or three days. And I noticed some white hair on my chin. I said, oh, that's interesting. Now, at 30 years old, you know, white hair is fascinating. Of course, I let it grow, and I had a full beard for 24 years. I was going to shave it on her 25th birthday. And I thought to myself, I'm going to shave it in it next year. I'm going to shave it next year, next year. And I just kept thinking about shaving it and shaving it, and I couldn't stop. So I shaved it on her 24th birthday. And she had never seen me without a beard. She got, ah! <laughs> so it was very interesting. So I, ha I went beardless, clean shaven for, I don't know, five years, four years. And, and um, it just seemed, my I think my wife said, well, why don't you grow your beard back? But try something different. So this is what came out of it. Well, and I think it's pretty common. My, my story is a little bit different. Um, about, uh, let's see, must be 45 years ago. Um, it was in a January, December 31st, was the last time I, I had a mustache, but I, I shaved my beard. I did uh, the last time I shaved my face. And I went off to a uh, training session in Oregon for a month. And uh, uh, I was a, a, a saleswoman in Manhattan for a very um, uh, technically oriented uh, company that uh, never had anybody uh, with facial hair at all. And I at least had a mustache when I started. Uh, and then I went out there and I, in the middle of the winter, wore a plaid shirt and uh, a, let my beard grow and I came back and my company told me to shave it off because nobody in the sales force wore them so I decided of course I was going to leave it on and uh, I was the number one salesman in the uh, country at, uh, for that six months while they were telling me to shave it off and then all of a sudden other people started growing beards and it was okay because uh, Manhattan had never been a, a, a sales territory for this company before selling uh, very technical equipment to <clears throat> banks and to uh, energy firms, uh, computer graphics equipment. So that's the last time I shaved it and I've just seen it go uh, pretty much the same shape. But I, I, what I admire about your beard is it's all white and I have, I have this, I don't know if it's ever going to go away, uh, uh, I have this, uh, not quite salt and pepper, but you can see there's enough black and around it, or dark brown, which is what my hair used to be. And yeah, that, I, well, that qualifies as salt and pepper. Right. So, uh, in any event, but uh, uh, I admire your beard. Well, uh, thank you. So do I. And even though, even though I trim it all the time, yeah, uh, it's still because that's where it's still dark. Uh, it doesn't look as um, neat as yours. But what I uh, really have found to be interesting is that today whether they're young or old, <laughs> it seems to be that there's a scruffy look which has taken over. And yes. it's not scruffy like you let it grow in and you shave it. It's let it grow in and then it's manicured to be a certain <laughs> height of, you know, a sixteenth of an inch. So, uh, long. Yeah, to, to look to look it's the I think it's called the unshaved look. And the idea is that you don't want to look like you shaved, but you don't want to look like you've got a beard. You just want that, what I call scruffy look in between. And you're right. They, they spend a lot of trouble keeping it 
short enough to look like they just haven't shaved. Right. It's it's it, but it's I I call that manicured. It is so. I mean, it takes a lot more work for them to do that than for me every two weeks to go over with a uh, a razor with a uh, uh, one of those uh, 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 lawn uh, guys that I use on my face that has a a fence on it that gives it just about this amount and all the stuff falls into a rag and then I take that and throw it out. Uh, and that's all I do every uh, two or three weeks when it really gets long. I never I never wanted to go for the uh, uh, Letterman look uh, where he's got this huge... Uh, oh, yeah. Right the, now. Yeah. I, and it's interesting. Who's the guy who runs uh, uh, Google? Doesn't he have a long beard? Uh, maybe I'm mixing up my oligarchs. Oh no, that's a, that's a, the Twitter guy. Uh, Twitter, Twitter. He's got a long. He, he had a short of... beard, then he had a long beard. Right. Yeah. So it, but it's interesting because he's a younger generation. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm under the impression I don't know whether I'm right or not that when guys get to a certain age, fifty, sixty, really sixty, they feel more free to grow a beard whether it looks like yours, full beard or mine or, you know, something. And I don't, I just, it's just an impression I have that most men are clean shaven until they reach a certain age. Um, I don't know if that's true. So. Well, maybe our, uh, uh, since uh, this probably only uh, appeals to half our audience, uh, because uh, now how we talk about when we shave our legs, and I think you and I have passed that. Yeah. Uh, and our underarms. Uh, but uh, we're talking about what we know best, which is our faces. Well, here's here's the thing, is some women really like a beard. And some women don't. Mm -hmm. Some women just can't deal with facial hair for the, on their man. And other women, I don't know that it turns them on, but they just like a man with facial hair. Um, okay. Or well, they tolerate us <laughs> in our cases. Uh, so anyway, we really like to hear from all of you out there as to, uh, uh, if you're a gal, do you like a guy with a beard or not? Or do you just tolerate it? And if you're a guy, did you start growing a beard because you were lazy or you were rebellious? Right. Uh, or for, for those of you, and there are plenty of, of friends that are clean shaven, uh, do you just find it uh, uh, unkempt to have a beard? So uh, this is a proper, isn't it nice that this is the most important thing we have to do to talk about uh, today? So life you is know, getting our, back to normal. I, I can feel my beard growing in this convo During this conversation, I could actually feel my beard growing. So mm. that kind of tells you how much fun it's been. <laughs> well, we, we probably want to then limit our fun because we, we don't want our blood racing through our, our veins right. That's that true. quickly until we get back into shape uh, and back to the gym. So anyway, uh, it has been interesting, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, we look forward to seeing you next week with uh, uh, something that's more quaffed. Oh, yeah. Then we'll talk about hangnails. Ooh, yes. All right. It is time to say goodbye. Boy, as it is as ever. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.